I get having a little fun, but this is a bit much. You're joking, right? Don't seem right. Are you a nigger lover? Because that's what you're acting like. If we don't protect us, they'll take this country from us and serve our heads in a fucking platter. You see what's happening in Beaumont right now? You remember that. So, we have good news and bad news, okay? The bad news is the police found enough drugs in your vehicle to charge you and your boyfriend with intent to sell. It wasn't mine. Let me finish, okay? I just talked to the DA's office. They're willing to reduce the charge to possession if you agree to testify against Zane. Okay, what's the good news? Uh, that was the good news. I'm not testifying against Zane. Oh, Christ. The man is a drug dealer. With two priors, okay? Odds are he's going to jail for a long while. There's no reason you should have to go with him. Well, we have one other option, okay? And that's to try to convince the judge that you didn't have any knowledge the drugs were in the vehicle. Everything okay here? Uh, yeah, officer, we're, we're, we're fine. What are you folks doing up here? Uh, just, you know, taking in the scenery. Scenery? Here. Is there a problem? I don't know, is there? No, there's no problem. What the hell happened to you? Uh, it was a uh, bike accident. It was pretty terrible. Yeah, I'll bet. Are, uh, are these your vehicles? Uh, yeah. That's ours, and this belongs to the house painter. He had an emergency and had to leave it at our house, so we're just returning it. In the middle of the night. Oh, Dad, Catherine and I have been worried sick about you. Oh, man, I did it. You don't answer the phone. I actually did it. You don't respond to my voicemails or my emails, Dad. When I publish this stuff, I'm going to be right up there with Newton and Einstein and Stephen Hawking. Dad. I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's one more in the vault. Roger that. 